Please don't be a hater. If you're gonna be a hater, then I'm gonna block you. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching my video. So a little bit ago on my Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me some questions and today I'm gonna answer those for you. Follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna ever ask me questions or just chat with me. Okay, so the first question is, why are you so sexy? First of all, thank you. <laughs> Second of all, I think it's because this is what my mother looks like and she's gorgeous and that's where I get my looks. But also, I don't think of myself as sexy. That's weird. I understand why a lot of people ask me why I'm so sexy. <laughs> I just, I, I don't agree, but yeah, I, I would say it's because my mom was like this. Second question is Chan Salete, which is how old are you? I am 22, Biso do Salame. <laughs> There's really not much more than that. Um, I like being 22, it's a good age. I'm still young, but I can legally do anything I want, and I'm like an adult but I'm still not fully an adult. I don't know, I like being 22 though, it's, it's been fun. Do you have any book suggestions? Well, I love fiction books. I'm a big like fantasy, imaginative, creative person. I think that people should not lose that side of them. So I always recommend fun fantasy books. My favorite books of all time are Harry Potter. I tell people, that they should read Harry Potter for sure. I mean, it's awesome. If you haven't read Harry Potter, read it. Like it's, oh, it's so entertaining. Like it doesn't matter how long it takes you, just read it. Um, other book suggestions, I really also like um, real life stories. Right now I'm reading The Life of Shannon Rose. She's somebody who used to work in like adult entertainment and now um, she's actually a YouTuber. So that's a book I'm reading. I really love reading about like people's lives and what they've been through. I think you can learn a lot from other people's mistakes and just other people's like life lessons. So um, I suggest any book that's like an autobiography or like a life story of somebody or Harry Potter. <laughs> Next question, what university are you a bachelor in? Um, I was a bachelor at the University of Oklahoma. I graduated, so I am no longer a, a student there. I guess I'm a graduate. I got my bachelor degree. Still hasn't come in the mail though. Oh, you send me my degree, please. Another question I got a lot is, are you single? And the answer to that is, <laughs> I, yes, I'm single. <laughs> I'm like, extremely picky. I'm a very picky person. I have very high standards. I'm not just gonna date anybody. Um, and uh, I don't want you to think like I'm prissy and like, I don't know. But honestly, I don't think people should settle. I don't think people should just date for fun or just date anybody. Like, I'm very, very picky about who I date and even just who I like choose to talk to. I don't like wasting my time. I don't like messing around. So yeah, I really prefer being single. I either prefer being single or like in an extremely amazing relationship where I feel very, very loved and cared about and like understood. And if I don't have that kind of relationship, I'd rather be single. So answer your question, yes, I'm single. I don't know how long I will be single but probably a long time unless a like absolutely wonderful, incredible, perfect man comes into my life. And not perfect, like I'm not perfect. I make a lot of mistakes, I'm super annoying, I'm super weird, like there's a lot of characteristics that I have that a lot of people wouldn't enjoy, but again, I just, I don't wanna settle. Like I wanna make sure that the person I'm with is very, very comfortable and happy with me, and I'm also very comfortable and happy with them. So yeah. The next question I got was, <laughs> Thank you. So in English, that translates to, why don't you post more pictures on Instagram? Beautiful, my beautiful. I um, I don't really like posting that much on Instagram. I, I mean, I, I definitely post often. I post like at least once a month, but, I don't know, I'm not the kind of person that's just like snaps anything and posts it. Like, I like for something to be going on, um, something that I think maybe is interesting to other people to post on Instagram. I'm not just the kind of person that's like, oh, let me walk down the street and take a picture and post it on Instagram. Unless like I really want, and there's nothing wrong with that by the way. I'm not saying there 
there is. Sometimes I'm definitely like, oh my God, like I just wanna post something on Instagram, so I put on a cute outfit, go downtown or something and take a cute picture. So I get that for sure. But for me, I think Instagram is more of a visual documentation of my life. So I want just to post on there when I'm doing fun, cool stuff, when I'm on vacation, when I'm with my friends, when it's a holiday, something special like that. If you could time travel, when would you go to? I would definitely go to um, the ancient Persian Empire, like way back Cyrus the Great days. <laughs> Obviously, I would want to be a like princess or something. I don't want to go back there and be like a slave But I always just Fantasize about that time. I think it's so I don't know just the history is so robust and going to Iran and seeing all the ancient like um, mountain carvings and like places and just all the um, Agriculture, it's so Beautiful agriculture, architecture, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, all the architecture and the paintings and the art like from the ancient times, I'm just so drawn and connected to. So I would love to see what it was like to live in those simple times where there was a silk road and just, ah, uh, I think it's cool. <laughs> What's your dream vacation? Um, I would say that's hard for me because I love everything <laughs> like I can truly appreciate um, what everywhere has to offer I love oceans I love mountains I love cities like I just want to see what the world has to offer like I don't if if I I'm gonna plan a vacation usually I choose to go to a beach just because I live in the middle of America and I, since childhood I've just loved beaches I've been very connected to them so I usually choose to go somewhere where there's a beach, but also like I love Europe, I love like old cities, I love um, even new cities like Dubai. I love snow, I love mountains, I love lakes, like I love, I just love all of nature. I guess my dream vacation would be to go on one of those like, like those houses that are in the middle of the ocean, you know? They have to like walk on a plank and get to it. I think that would be like my dream vacation, but I think that's definitely attainable in my life and I, I wanna do that. That would be so cool. <laughs> when do you usually go to sleep? Um, I usually go to sleep at 2 a.m. I made a video about it. You should watch it, it was fun. When did you last go shopping? I actually don't shop that often. I um, I have learned to find clothes and things that I can mix and match a lot and I, like I just wear my clothes to death. So I don't shop too often and a lot of times I do just shop online. So I don't remember the last time I went shopping. Um, I went to Walmart today. Beer or wine? Good question. <laughs> I think I prefer wine, but I definitely enjoy beers too. There's so many kinds of beers and wines out there that like, there's something for everybody, honestly. I really like wines like at dinners and stuff, like with like fish or chicken or something. I feel like wine tastes really good. But beers, I really like when I'm like at a lake or like just like outside, like day drinking, beers are, the way to go. Are you always happy? Hell no! I'm actually sad a lot. Um, I try to be happy. I try to be as happy as I can. I try my hardest to surround myself with positive people, focus on positive things, and just like go forward with myself. But definitely, I definitely get sad <laughs> a lot. Have you ever peed in the woods? Yeah, girl, I live in Oklahoma. I pee outside all the time. I actually prefer peeing outside. Is that weird? I don't care. Are you patient or impatient? Good question. I think I can be both. It depends on the circumstance. I think overall I'm, I'm more of a patient person because I've grown up around very impatient people and I try really hard to not be impatient and I try to be patient with people and be like, Take your time, you're, you'll understand one day. I know you're being a dumbass right now, but I'll be patient with you. So yeah, I, th I try to think of myself as a patient person. But if I'm tired or hungry or frustrated, impatient, impatient. No, I'm so impatient, I'm over it. 
What old person thing do you do? Um, everything, hi. I'm a 45 year old on the inside. 45 isn't even that old. But I, um, I do a lot of old people things. I like to play piano. I like to like sew and knit and do things like that. Like I love puzzles. <laughs> like I, I prefer doing stuff like that than going out any day, honestly. And the last question is, what is something that most people learn after like knowing you for a while? And I would say that I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I think when people first meet me, they don't expect me to be as weird as I am, but genuinely, I'm weird. My interests are weird, the things I like are weird, but I don't know, there's a lot of things about me that's weird. Just the way that I think, I think is pretty weird and um, people that I date or spend a lot of time with, I think could tell you that I'm an oddball, but I like it. I think that's what makes me me. I think that's what makes me stand out from other people. And I think ultimately my weirdness is what's gonna make me successful one day. So I'm a weirdo, but I'm okay with it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned more about me. Yeah, <laughs> I hope this interested you, I don't know. Y'all ask me these questions on Instagram. Again, follow me on Instagram, um, ask me more questions. I like answering questions if you guys wanna ask them. You can ask me in the comments, I don't really care. Thank you for subscribing and following me and liking this video and being the best person ever. Please don't be a hater. If you're gonna be a hater, then I'm gonna block you.